What's up everybody, welcome back to another Technically Analytics vlog. You might have heard of Edwin Diaz, the closer for the Mets who went down in the World Baseball Classic. This video isn't really about Diaz, but just imagine Diaz was a left-handed starter. That is one way to think about Justin Steele of the Chicago Cubs. Before I get to Diaz, the Diaz comparison, let's talk about who Justin Steele is. Justin Steele is a left-handed starting pitcher for the Chicago Cubs. He's 28 years old. He came up in 2021 for the Cubs at 25. Steele started off trying to find his way, but in 2022, he was a respectable starter for the Cubs. His 4-7 record doesn't tell how good he was, with a 3.18 ERA, 119 innings pitch, 126 strikeouts, as well as a 132 ERA+, plus, a 320 FIP, and a 1.353 WHIP. He had an impressively low 0.6 home runs per nine and a 3.8 walk per nine. Now, in 2023, it seems that Steele has taken a step forward. He discovered what Edwin Diaz has done well for a while, the, sli the fastball slider combo. The results have been great too. A bold 842 winning percentage, 16-3 record, a bold 249 ERA. By the way, bold means he leads the league. Through 159 innings, he had 159 strikeouts, 180 ERA+, 2.92 FIP, and a 1.126 WHIP. A league leading 0.6 home runs per nine and an impressive 1.9 walks per nine. In only three years, he went from just an average rookie to one of the best starters in MLB. Justin Steele and Edwin Diaz are very similar pitchers. Although Steele does use a few other pitches, the format for their success is the same. They, they both use the fastball slider combo. When you look at their baseball savants, it's remarkably similar. Steele's three other pitches, but they total about 3%, or 81 pitches thus far. But if you compare 2022 Diaz to 2023 Steele, it's clear that they both make their money on the fastball. But more importantly, the setup pitch is the slider. Looking at the run value chart, both of their fastballs rate out very high, over 20 for Diaz and 16 for Steele. With the slider, Steele's a bit more effective at 8 run value than Diaz was at 2. I believe it's because Diaz tends to miss with the slider. An important factor is movement and spin, especially with the fastball and slider pitches. Diaz and Steele have mirrored movement charts because they throw with different hands, but the movement is consistent with both. The spin is different for each because they throw it differently. We can see how this works within the strike zone thanks to SatCast. The heat maps show us the average location of each pitch. Steele tends to use a high fastball and low slider. Steele also has the advantage of using of mixing in other pitches. Diaz tends to use his fastball on both sides of the middle zone. Diaz's slider is predominantly down and away depending on the hitter. Another interesting chart to look at are zone charts. Looking at the zone charts like K percentage, whip percentage, strikeouts, walk, and ground ball percentage, the comparison is remarkable. You would think Diaz's dominance in 2022, there wouldn't be anyone who can match him. Yet Justin Steele has managed to do just that. One thing that Steele does have on Diaz is walk percentage. The zone charts reveal that Steele barely issues any walks in any zone. Meanwhile, Diaz, as I mentioned earlier, does miss with his slider. All these charts show a similar story of success with the fastball slider combo. The most amazing thing about Justin Steele is the fact that he does this as a starting pitcher. It's one thing for Diaz to come in for about two innings max to get six outs. Obviously the pressure on Diaz is immense because he can't afford to give up runs, but I have to applaud Justin Steele's ability to stay in games and be very consistent throughout the, throughout the season. Just look at these incredible splits. For example, the monthly splits show that Steele has been consistently good. Even when his ERA spiked in August, he still maintained a 4 0 record. Obviously, there is some luck involved. His worst month by far was May, only 2 2 with a 3.98 ERA. He gave up just too many hits, but it's impressive how consistent he is, going back to my point. Diaz only getting one inning a game or two innings sometimes doesn't compare to pitching lights out for five or six innings. The inning split shows that Steele is like most MLB pitchers. He lights out for the first time through the lineup, but when it gets to that third or fourth time, he struggles a bit more. This is a common pattern. As a Mets fan, I have a bias about Edwin Diaz, but I think Justin Steele deserves some credit for his incredible performance. You might say he should be considered for the Cy Young. However, the innings pitched are a bit too low. Usually to be considered for Cy Young, you need to have at least 180 innings or 200 innings. The season isn't quite over yet. But if Steele can maintain his current form and reach over 180 innings, I could see him winning a Cy Young. 
I think that anyone can be even remotely compared to Diaz as a great pitcher. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe.